Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Kids Continued. Thank you so much for joining me. Today, we are going to be jumping back and having a look at the lessons we were doing at church. If you remember, we were in the book of Acts and we were actually learning all about Paul. Paul was an apostle of God and he used to travel all over the place to tell people about Jesus and about the love of God. Okay, let's jump into today's story. Our story today can be found in Acts chapter 22 and 23. We all know that the Apostle Paul used to travel around and tell people the good news about Jesus. So when Paul arrived in Jerusalem, the believers were so glad to see him. But many Jews didn't like the fact that Paul was there, because Paul used to teach that you didn't have to live by Jewish law to be saved. So, the Jews made a plan in order to stop Paul. Paul was at the temple when a group of people came up and they grabbed him and dragged him away and were actually going to kill him. But, a Roman official saw and he stopped them. He did unfortunately arrest Paul though. So, Paul was placed in jail and eventually he was taken in front of the Sanhedrin. Now, I don't know about you, but that was a big word. I actually looked it up to make sure I understood it properly. So, the Sanhedrin is a powerful group of Jewish priests and other leaders. And they come together to decide if someone has broken a Jewish law, and if so, what their punishment needs to be. So, as Paul stood in front of the Sanhedrin, and he looked them in the eye, he told them that he had come to do what God had called him to do. And he didn't believe that he'd done anything wrong. He explained that he'd been arrested because he was preaching that Jesus was alive again, that Jesus was resurrected. And the men in the Sanhedrin started arguing. Some people believed what Paul was saying and some people didn't. And it got a little chaotic. So the Roman official took him away to keep him safe. So he's still in jail, but he's at least not back there with all the people that were arguing. The following night, while Paul was still in jail, The Lord came near to him and gave him an incredible message. Let's read it in Acts chapter 23 verse 11. The Lord said, Take courage, as you have testified about me in Jerusalem, so you must also testify in Rome. Isn't that a comforting message? So the reason I think it's comforting is that Paul is in Jerusalem, and even though he is in jail, God has a plan for him to be in Rome and to share God's love and his word in Rome. So Paul could take comfort in knowing that God would be with him and he didn't know how and he didn't know when, but he would make it to Rome to share God's word. The next morning, things were not looking so good for Paul. A group of Jews had come together and come up with a plan to kill Paul. They were so adamant that they promised not to eat or drink anything until Paul was dead. They had even included the Jewish leaders into their plan. They were going to get Paul back to the Sanhedrin and on their way to the meeting point, they were going to ambush and kill Paul. Now, Paul's nephew overheard their plan and he quickly ran and told Paul all about it. Paul then sent him to the army commander and the commander told his nephew not to say anything and not to tell anyone that he had overheard this plan. So, the army commander got a few of his officials and a large group of soldiers and they safely transported Paul to Caesarea. Now Caesarea is a town in Rome and if you remember our verse from earlier said that Paul would not only testify in Jerusalem but would also testify in Rome. So God had provided a way for Paul to make it all the way to Rome to tell those people there about God and about Jesus and his love. Even when other people threatened his life, Paul still obeyed Jesus and he believed in God and that God has sent his son to die on the cross for us and be risen again and save us from our sins. So Paul went through some really tough times and I know that we go through tough times too. But just like Paul, we can believe in God and have faith in him and trust that God has a plan for us and will help us through our tough times. I hope you guys have a great week and that you remember that God is always with you and that he loves you. Bye.